So now, here's a piece I wrote against the war, and it's not out of date. I don't apologize for it. For all these people in the San Francisco Examiner and on TV who ridiculed people who protested the war, ho, ho, you were wrong. No, killing 100,000 Iraqis for profit is much worse than being wrong. As Richard Nixon used to say during the Vietnam War, now more than ever. You, you look like you're just the ripe age to be drafted. Does that even bother you? Still thinking about that? There was a sign at Jonestown behind Jim Jones's dead body, and it said, those who do not remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Those who do not remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Which would you rather sacrifice, your hot car or your life? Die for oil, sucker. Born on the firecracker 4th of July, raised on football and MTV, never felt what it's like to have to fight to stay free. Vietnam, just a time life book memory. The mask is off again, this time nobody cares, but you can't keep dancing when your legs are blown away. Die for oil, sucker, sucker, sucker. You too can get your face shot off so arms race tycoons won't have to get a real job. The Cold War's over, it was all a mirage. We could use that money, we got problems to solve. But we're not allowed a chance at the peace dividend because our psycho president's got his head in the sand. Saddam Hussein's so egocentric he even replaced Mickey Mouse on watches with his own face. Last spring he was our tyrant, we thought we could use. We sold him his guns and his nerve gas, too. When he told our ambassador he was fixing to invade, April Glaspie told him, no problem, Uncle Scam wouldn't care. What kind of a Bush League double cross is this? Cheap oil? The price has already gone up. This still could wind up making Hiroshima look like a picnic. And keep in mind, James Baker is a born-again Christian. Does he believe in Armageddon and the last generation? Die for oil, sucker. 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 You too can get your spinal cord snapped to save greedy kings from the greed of Iraq. Give your life for a country where women can't vote and people still get their hands and heads chopped off. In Saudi Arabia, they'll stone you to death for sleeping with another person's husband or wife. Women can't go out alone or show their face or even drive. And there's never elections. You can't even ask why. But they finally did outlaw slavery. In 1960, so progress is being made and they're sitting on something we can learn to live without but certain fat cats bank accounts cannot oil for this you get to be all you can be a dead army navy air force marines come home one of those deranged unemployed vets the kind they love to make TV cop shows about just like Tom Cruise in a wheelchair. No film royalties, because nobody cares about you once you've been used to die for oil, sucker. 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 It'll kill the poor even faster than crack. Send them off to war, make sure they don't come back. Give them tanks that fall apart and helicopters that crash. 2,000 died in Panama because the stealth can't shoot straight. $800 million Batman plane, and it doesn't even work. No surprise when their idea of national security is toilet seats costing 1800 bucks. 
And is it really worth it in this day and age to end up the winners of a World War III? Think about it. Once we take over that place, we'll never, ever be able to leave. Somehow we think we're going to waltz right in to colonize their hearts and minds. But the Arab people are now so damn mad, we'll be lucky to get out of there alive. You think any of them want their kings to sell us oil? Think of the cost to keep our army there. When the only way left to bleed oil out of the ground is soldiers' guns treating Arabs like slaves. Or was that all part of the plan? Got to put 400,000 NATO troops somewhere. They found a scam to extend the Cold War. It's called Die for Oil, sucker. 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 Because America the Beautiful is going to hell. We no longer make cars or TVs very well. Our economy's rigged on selling guns and making war. What happens when no one wants our products anymore? America the powerful has hit a decline. Our cities and our people are falling apart. Malnutrition and infant mortality rates to rival damn near any third world slave state you name got one thing left to sell, that's the world police. A mercenary state to ensure there's no peace. We love doing your dirty work, but y'all gotta pay. Mob style protection money to the U.S. of A. Rich thugs with no vision trying to save their empires. New world order mafia with them still in charge. Reducing America to a banana republic. Die for oil, sucker. What's so sick about this is there's a better way. Stop selling guns to Arabs and to Israel. Don't need to keep ourselves hostage to oil. Use our Star Wars know-how to build solar-powered cars. <laughs> Won't need an army either. One clerk in the patent office might be all it would take to find blueprints for a solar car General Motors shelved away. But oh no, that's too simple and there's money to be made, especially if you already have more than you ever need. For those of us who can't buy our way out like rich folks like Dan Quayle do, it's burn your draft card, burn the flag, and burn the Pentagon too! That's why we got the world's first tabloid war. No bodies, no funerals, no wounded, no gore. Super Bowl every day where we always win. So much yellow ribbon we are hanging ourselves. That's what's so different from ugly Vietnam. Media that brought that war home's been bought out. General Electric controls NBC News. They want to sell weapons. They distort what we view. Can those rah-rah, we love war polls be believed when so many of us everywhere are out in the streets? Pentagon parrot papers won't admit we exist. What that says to me is their owners are scared. That we will get as strong as they have in Berlin and tear down their walls and their new order scams. Yellow Ribbon McCarthyism can't hold us too long. We support our troops most because we say, bring them home. So be all you can be. Say no to the Army Air Force Marines. Get off your butt before your butt's blown off. Don't die for oil. Don't be a sucker.